But first, a new short documentary film that was shot here in Maine tells an unusual story. It all came about when a renowned musician reached out to Maine's Wabanaki people. The result is a film called Wechkua Book, The Approaching Dawn. It features citizens from the Passamaquoddy tribe who gathered on their ancestral land on Scudic Point for a ceremony and traditions that date back hundreds of years. In the beginning, there was no plan to make a film. Then a message came from the acclaimed classical cellist Yo-Yo Ma, who was on a journey of music and nature and wanted to include indigenous voices. The request was made to me, you know, what could Yo-Yo Ma do with music that would be meaningful to Wabanaki people? My suggestion back to their crew was for Yo-Yo Ma to play music uh, on, you know, the, the coast as the sun rose, as, as Wabanaki people do as part of our tradition. I thought it would be a kind of a crazy thing to ask, uh, but Yo-Yo Ma and, and everybody involved was, was more than up for the idea. Let me just follow up on that. Well, we got a call from Yo-Yo Ma's office. That's not the kind of thing that happens every day. What was your reaction when he reached out to you? Well, first I, I read the, you know, the subject lines from the office of Yo-Yo Ma and I was immediately thought, what kind of spam is this? So yeah, I mean, you know, complete shock. Um, not something as, a, a, you know, working as the executive director of a museum, not the typical question you, you would get. Um, but uh, it was also quite pleasant in, in many different ways because of the way it was asked, uh, where literally the, the, the voice of, of me as a Wabanaki person um, was going to be listened to. And, and uh, you know, that, that, you know, right from the beginning, the energy was set for a really beautiful relationship. Lauren Stevens was asked to take part in the performance and lend her voice. She too was not aware that the event would be filmed for a documentary. It flowed so well together and um, it felt like it was meant to. In the film, Roger Paul, a Wabanaki linguist, relates the story in Passamaquoddy of a young boy being asked to raise the sun with music. You don't even hear the English language spoken until about three minutes in the film when my voice shows up. So it really does center uh, a Wabanaki worldview by hearing the story in our language. The documentary captures something <laughs> remarkable. So you ready to give it a try? All right, here we go. The fusion of Passamaquoddy music and history with the artistry of Yo-Yo Ma, perhaps the best known classical musician in America. There are definitely nerves, especially when you're uh, performing alongside Yo-Yo Ma and the other wonderful performers that were also there. I was taken a bit back, but I feel like the film really captured the beauty that was uh, that was held in that those moments. The film is part of what's called the Reciprocity Project, a series of short documentaries intended to amplify indigenous voices, foster connections between people and the earth, and stimulate conversations on climate change. Chris Newell says he's pleased with the result, pleased with the new relationship the Wabanaki people have with Yo-Yo Ma. Wabanaki people appreciate when, you know, a guest comes into our territory and, and behaves as a guest. And Yo-Yo Ma is the type of human being that did exactly that. And that's what made it work. We hosted him, we made him feel welcome. We wanted to make sure that he felt so good that he would want to come back someday. Hey, uh, 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 uh. First Powell Cello. 
in general, just a great example of, you know, how human beings should behave, you know, when we first meet each other. Which Guabo, The Approaching Dawn, is one of two movies shot in Maine featuring citizens of the Passamaquoddy tribe. They're part of a series of seven documentaries made by Indigenous peoples. November, by the way, is Native American Heritage Month, and you can find links to those films and more on the Reciprocity series by going to the 207 section of our New Center Maine app or website.